mirroring. Okay, so we're down to the last of this form. In this case, I want to mirror it to the other side. In edit mode, I go to faces, highlight all the faces down the center part. And you're going to find out that it is technically a little off. Okay. Which is no big deal. Uh, I'll show you a neat little trick here. It's all about tricks. Here's my meridian point that goes all the way down the character. Uh, in this case, I want to use shift control alt. And I can highlight all the faces on the other side of this meridian point and hit X and delete faces. Now I can do this a couple times. Again, that's shift control alt. And why did I do that? Well, now it makes it very easy to take the marquee tool and highlight those remaining faces and just get rid of all of them. Right? Okay. So that's one trick. Second trick. What I like to do here is align my model. And I'm going to use one of these gray lines right here to do so. I'm just going to move it a skosh this way. So it's in a straighter form corresponding to this line right here. It's really hard to see in the video, but there's a distance between this line and this line that is perfectly equal somewhat. Now, if I jump into a front view and go to vertice, I'm now going to hit R and scale this flat. Again, that doesn't change the form at all. It just makes it easier to mirror because you're going to be mirroring this probably a lot sometimes. So, Okay, now that I have everything aligned flat, I can add a modifier. But first, I'd like to move the point of reference here. So the origin, I want to move to the, the meridian line. Right now, it's based upon its old meridian. And here, I'm just going to go and add origin to 3D cursor. Now I'm going to show you something that happens that's awkward and how to fix it. So if I go to add a modifier right now called mirror, it mirrors it, but technically it's off. Look at it. That should be dead center. Why is it off? Well, let's get rid of the modifier. And before we add any modifiers, let's go like this object mode, apply, rotation, object mode, apply, scale. Now let's add the mirror modifier. Wow, so much better, right? So pay attention. In this case, I'm going to move this so there's a little bit of a gap between it. Nothing I haven't done in the past with these videos. And then set its merge limit up until it actually merges. Okay, then I concentrate on all the way around the model. Sure enough, yep, it is merged. And then apply that change. So now I have this really nice variation to work with. So I've got a lower polygon count, but it's got this really cool beveled edge that I couldn't do just by hand. I had to let the smooth variation do that for me. And, and then, you know, if you, you still find edge loops that you don't need, it's important to get rid of those. As long as they don't mess up your bevel. All right, so that is mirroring it over. Uh, then I'm just going to take and get rid of this one. It's old and obsolete now. And put 2.0 back in its place. Object transform origin to geometry.
Now, since I duplicated this from the original, I should still have my toggle between wireframe and solid. And look how much more accurate that is now. Cockpit's a little bit smaller, but at least it's it's got great topology and good form. Very nice. There's certain things that you could adjust, like maybe this front now needs to be moved up quite a bit. But that's nothing that you can't do with the vertices. Bam. Now, if I had a bunch of edges in here that didn't belong, I could not just make a huge form change like that. It would not work out. This front piece, if I did this, there's an edge slide feature that allows me to move that. And if I need to put this back into its place, I can just do something like that. Nice. All right, so that's just a separate video all together about mirroring. Uh, let's move on to the next video.